We're going to take a look at some systems of linear equations and to start off this will be a little bit of a review you've probably seen most of this stuff before but we really just want to make sure that we are all on the same page when it comes to some of these things so first off we're going to look at an equation in r squared right this great equation in r squared it's going to have ax plus by is equal to some value c right we're going to have two variables in play over here we can draw this out on a graph it's going to look something like this We'll have one axis X, we'll have one Y, and then we'll have some line through it, right? We'll have some line over there. And that's what it would look like in R squared. So like really uh, just a basic, basic overview. If I want to get this in a different color, it's going to look like a disaster if I try to color over it. Ah, close enough. There we go. So just, you know, basic. And if we want to step it up an extra level, we can go ahead and do that. And we can actually have this, I want a different color. I want to go back to the white. There we go. So now, if we have it in R3, we would have AX plus BY plus CZ is equal to D. And we go ahead and graph something like this out. We are going to get a plane. So if we go ahead and draw like this, we go ahead and draw like this, we are going to get some plane in this space. Once again, I should have used a different color. I'm, I'm not good when it comes to just swapping out these colors here. So we have some plane over here in this three-dimensional space. So we'd have X, we'd have uh, we'll go Y here, and we'll put Z up here. So we, we saw those, right? We, we've seen these many times. This is nothing new. This is just things that we've seen before. Now, we want to look what happens when we start introducing more constraints into one of these situations, right? One of these systems. So what would happen if we were posed with something along the lines of having two equations with three variables each. And remember, when I'm talking about variables here, right, we do see we have a lot of random letters here, but the only variables are the ones that are going to be moving, which are going to be x, y, and z, right? These, these are going to be coefficients. So a, b, and c here are not variables. These are going to be coefficients. Just in case anybody is still on the fence about that, it's, it's, they're going to be coefficients, it's not going to be variables. So what, what would happen if we were given two equations, and these two equations will have three variables each. So for instance, we would have a1, x, x being one of those variables, we'd have b1x, uh, not x, sorry, b1y, uh, where y is one of those variables, and then we would have c1z, where z is another one of those variables, and that would be equal to d1. And then we would have a2x plus b2, y plus c to z equals d squared. Now, the thing here is we notice that the variables, so x, y, and z, they don't have those numbers on the end of them, right? So a1 and a2 are not equal to each other. b1 and b2 are not equal to each other. Well, they don't have to be, at least. They could be, but they don't have to be. Now, x, y, and z, in this case, they have to be equal to each other. So x, y, and z will need to satisfy both of these equations. We'll go ahead and write that x, y, z will need to satisfy both equations. They're going to need to satisfy both equations. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and get a little, one second. Let me get a new color here. And what we're going to look at is so we're going to look at more specifics in the next video, but I want to just draw one thing out, right? If they're going to satisfy both, let's go ahead and draw. So say we have a plane over here. And we have another plane that's going to be, we'll pick a different color here. Essentially like this, right? You can visualize one of these is vertical, one of these is horizontal. We, we want values that are going to satisfy both of these planes. Well, essentially, both these planes will only be satisfied on this, this intersecting line over here, right? The place where they both intersect. So the areas where these planes are going to intersect is going to be where those two equations we have over there are going to have, you're going, they're going to be true, right? So we're going to want x, y, and z values where both of these are going to be true. In the next video, we'll be looking at a bit more of an expansion. I was going to include it in here, but I think it's looking at this a bit more in detail is going to be better in its own video. So we'll continue from this exact area in the next video.